Hi, Taurus. Okay, Taurus, we have the Two of Swords and we have the Eight of Pentacles as your awareness or the big ideas for the week. The Two of Swords, we see the woman here crossing her chest with the swords. She's also blindfolded. So there are times when you feel that you're unable to make decisions, that you're unable to see a clear path. And you may feel as if you're at an impasse. You may feel that you are stuck, that you're at a fork in the road. When we think about twos, we think about decisions, decisions that need to be made. And so, you know, with swords energy, we're thinking about maybe some rough waters. Maybe there's something that's disconcerting for you that you've been having on your plate and at this moment you are unable to make a decision you are unable to decide you're unable to process the information so the two of swords you could see she's blindfolded she's crossed maybe nothing's coming in and nothing's coming out so there will be a time when you're ready to make a decision but it doesn't seem that maybe it's going to be this week so with this feeling at an impasse, feeling stuck perhaps, um, unable to move forward, unable to take a step forward, here's the Eight of Pentacles. Work, 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 work. Focus, dis you know, not being distracted. Taking pride in what you do. So, you know, you may not be dealing with something here and you're just kind of burying your head in your work and being very focused and getting the job done and um, working with your hands. This can also suggest this week, maybe you're going to be taking online training or going to a workshop to improve your skill set. But with the eight of pentacles, we are head down, eyes on the task and making it happen. You're working hard. You're working hard for, you know, your own benefit. Often people say this is a grunt card or that it's uh, tedious. But you know, there are people out there who make like fine Swiss watches and it's so precise, it's so detailed that you're looking at a really small space with your magnifying glasses and you know, you're having to do very precise movements. And so sometimes we need that precision and we need the focus in order to create something powerful and beautiful. And so here, working hard, eye on the prize, making, doing the best that you can do. And this may help, uh, you know, take your mind off whatever you feel that you are unable to make a choice about. So let's see what we have for guidance. So in terms of guidance, we have the Seven of Swords and we have the Four of Wands. So the Seven of Swords is a card of someone maybe trying to take something from you. Someone not being honest or presenting themselves in one fashion when in reality, they're very different. A con job, somebody who's full of bull and selling you a story. So you really need to be vigilant. You need to be thinking about where people are coming from. You need to be careful of people within, if this is a work situation, that someone's not trying to take your glory. Someone's not trying to steal your clients or whatever it may be. You know, this can be a card of trickery and deception. And so you have to be aware that not everyone is upfront and not everybody has good intentions. And we know this because we get the scam phone calls or we get the phishing emails. And so it's up to you, particularly in times of holidays, to be careful and to lock up your purse or your wallet and to keep track of things. There's so always people out there wanting to take advantage and don't let yourself be open to that you know be smart particularly if this in a work scenario of working hard and doing a great job is uh you know 
perhaps just keep your eyes open. You know, people are always wanting to tag on to your successes, to your skill. It just happens and you just have to deal with it. And so dealing with this deception, this trickery, this um, pulling the wool over one's eyes kind of feeling, here we have the Four of Wands, which is nice. It's a bright spot here. Four of Wands is about celebrating. It's about recognizing an important milestone. So if you've been working hard, you may be celebrated. You may be getting that reward. You may be having the enjoyment and the um, recognition by friends or family. We often think of the Four of Wands in terms of marriages, in terms of engagement, birthday parties, those big occasions. So some of you may actually be going to a party, uh, a, a retirement, a graduation, a baby shower. You may be meeting people, hanging out with them, feeling good. This couple here, this is a very loving and that they're moving on into a new course, into a new path. You're celebrating their life together. And it's the recognition of time past and energy put into something. So whether this is for you and you're celebrating something that you've done or you're attending, there is a spot to connect, to feel good, to raise a glass, to enjoy. Interesting. So in terms of possible outcomes, we have two court cards. We have two queens, two powerful queens, the queen of swords and the queen of pentacles, each bringing success, but in their own way. And the queen of swords would tell you to be very discerning, very sharp and focused with your decision making and with you know, look at the evidence, look at the facts, don't get caught up in your emotions. So she's telling you to make decisions based on your smarts. Be smart this week. When you're dealing with seven of swords type of people or situations, um, as you're working hard is to let your brain lead the way as ultimately you may be able to work through and to figure out a solution here, a decision to be made, a moving forward plan. This queen of swords, decisive, maybe some say cold hearted, but not getting swept away with emotions, sticking to the facts, looking for the truth and the clarity for a situation. So the queen comes into you as terms of outcomes is saying, well, as you're working so hard and you're focused on using your head and being smart. Don't forget to enjoy the comforts of your home. Don't forget to connect with nature or to do things that make you feel good. Because with Venus here and the queen of pentacles and this earth energy, it's about comfort. It's about beauty. Maybe you're decorating your home. Maybe you are making your home look more peaceful and relaxing for you. Uh, but this queen, there's a loving energy, compassionate, caring. You may be focused on caring for your family, taking care of your family, nurturing your family. You may be, uh, thinking about <clears throat> finding bargains at the holidays, you know, being resourceful. Queen of Pentacles is resourceful. She's down to earth, approachable and you know, it's a nice balance here to see between the queen of pentacles and the queen of swords, which is, uh, one is working with the, the brain, intelligence, reason, logic, and the other one's coming from more of a heartfelt, um, down to earth matter, which is use your common sense in how you approach people and situations. So use your common sense this week, focus on the beauty in your home and your environment that can bring you a lot of happiness and joy. Think about being resourceful during the holidays, how to stretch a dollar, how to find a bargain. 
and have some fun this week as you've been working hard. Have some fun. So let's see what we have in terms of an oracle card or an affirmation for the week. In the flow, everything is smooth sailing. Well, that's nice to know and it's nice to hear. And with all these people here, with the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, um, you know, that might put you in a good position here for smooth sailing. So let's see what we have in terms of a love card for the week. A love message. Love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. So coming from a place of love, focusing on love, and letting love lead, certainly great advice and things to be aware of, and particularly if you're celebrating the love here, is it's, it's a beautiful moment. Take it in, soak it up. So friends, this is what I have for you for the week. I hope that you found something helpful here today with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, share this video, comment below.